learn about rounding. Now remember, the most important thing about rounding is, regardless of what number you start with, by the time you're finished rounding, that number is going to end in zeros. Let's take a look at this problem up here on this board. Now this problem says, what is the number 2,368 rounded to the nearest thousand? Now the key word is rounded to the nearest thousand, which means the answer is either going to be 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, it could be 6,000, it could be, as long as the answer is going to be in the thousands, it could be a thousand, we don't know which thousand. So, let's look at the problem again. What is the number 2,368 rounded to the nearest thousand? So, what we're going to do is, we're going to write a thousand underneath the problem. And the next trick we're going to do is get rid of the extra numbers. And we're going to circle the 2 and all the zeros. So right now, our answer could be just 2,000. But that might not be the only answer. It could be 2,000, but it could also be 3,000. Because think about it. If I knew there was a gas station at 2,000, and I also knew there was a gas station at 3,000, and I was stuck in the middle at 2,368, and I had to go to the bathroom, and I had a choice, I wonder which one I thought would be the closest. Hmm, I wonder. So basically the idea is you have to figure out which one is the closest number that ends in all zeros. So you're always going to have a choice of either 2,000 or 3,000. For example, if this problem were 5,368, your choices would be 5,000 or 6,000. If this problem were 8,368, your choices would be 8,000 or 9,000. But let's get back to this problem. Knowing that our answers could either be 2,000 or 3,000, we can eliminate which two answers? Probably answer choice A and answer choice D. Because we know it's either going to be 2,000 or 3,000. So, the last step in doing this rounding problem can be figured out back at our problem. And this is what I show my students. If you want to know if your answer is either A or B, you kind of have to look at the number next door. The number to the right. And the number to the right is 3. And for some students who've already memorized this chart, for those of you who haven't, I'll just quickly explain it. You have two charts, or one chart with uh, two different arrows. The up arrow has 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 on it. These are our big numbers. Then you have the down arrow, and it has the small numbers, like 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. If the number next door, if the number next door, which is 3, if it's on our small list, then we're going to choose the smaller answer. And it looks like the number next door is a 3, which is on our small arrow. So guess what? Our answer is going to be the smaller choice. We're not going to choose the big answer. So when you're doing a rounding problem and you have these arrows memorized, you have your up arrow memorized, and you have your down arrow memorized. All you have to do is look at the number to the right, the number next door, 
and just ask yourself, is it on the big list or the small list? And then you can figure out for yourself, is my answer going to be A or B? And this is one strategy you can use to learn how to round.